Welcome everybody to the uh, to the uh, our, our final our final meeting uh, of the trash tra transfer station sticker information trash a palooza meeting. Um, and I call the meeting to order. And uh, are we going right with the with the uh, slideshow? No, I don't think we need to present the slideshow again. <laughs> It was presented at the first two meetings. At this meeting, um, if we can contain questions and conversations to the actual um, proposal, not the proposal, the new um, uh, uh, system, uh, that would be very appreciated. Um, there are handouts here on the chair if nobody uh, picked one up or received. Uh, basically, it's a summary, outlines, um, how the uh, stickers work, um, but I didn't have any presentation to show again, so I figured this was just an open meeting for questions and comments. Would it be good to just go through or read through some? Sure, it should be known that um, the stickers that you're receiving from the town office, uh, not to use those until uh, October 7th, because, you know, uh, pointed, it was pointed out to me that some people are using them already. You should not be using them. <laughs> so, uh, beginning October 7th, residents are asked to, uh, are required to start using these new stickers, which have to be affixed to whatever type, type of bag you're using. Um, we'll get into what bags can be used later on. Uh, the vehicle permit for fiscal year 2024 is going to be twenty dollars as opposed to ten um, it'll be five dollars for each additional decal um, if those are needed for a household uh, each decal will be marked hello will be marked with the license plate number of the vehicle um, here's where how many stickers are required per bag based on size uh, use one sticker for one 35-gallon trash bag or two 16-gallon kitchen-style trash bags. Two stickers are needed for any contractor bags. So, <laughs> I know here it says the maximum weight for one sticker is 35 pounds of trash. Um, we don't have a scale up there, but, um, you know, obviously if you have more than 35 pounds in your trash bag, something's wrong. Yep, cans of paint or something in there that you shouldn't. Um, if the weight exceeds 35 pounds, an additional sticker has to be attached. Each household is going to receive 104 trash bag stickers with their decal, meaning two stickers per week. Additional stickers may be purchased for one dollar each at town office. Uh, about the bags, bird seed bags, feed bags, pellet bags, etc. can be used as trash bags with a sticker attached. Um, we'll also hopefully have uh, donated bags up there as well so you don't have to go purchase bags and add to the waste. I know a lot of us are very cautious of that. Um, recycling is required and mandatory as always in the Commonwealth of uh, Commonwealth, Massachusetts. Uh, the transfer station attendants have been passing out forms, pamphlets that show what can be um, recycled and what cannot be recycled. Please read those carefully. Um, let's see. Almost 50% of household trash can be recycled. You can recycle the following materials. And again, the handouts are very detailed, but paper, clean paper only, newspaper, cardboard um, needs to be flattened. Plastic, uh, containers smaller than two and a half gallons. I know there's some limitations on the color of the plastics as well. Glass, tin, steel, aluminum, to include aluminum foil, milk and juice cartons that are cleaned. And then there's some websites there for additional information if needed. Um, Bernie, did we update the town website with this information? I had no, I haven't gotten okay. those up yet. So we'll yes, update that as well. Um, one thing I, I forgot to add in here, um, just so everybody is aware that when you get your new vehicle decal, we have to actually see your vehicle registration. It can be a picture on your phone, um, 
and it has to be for each vehicle. So if you're a household and you're coming in for two vehicles, we need to see two registrations. Why is that? Because we're tying each of the decals to the vehicle registration and just making sure that all the cars are actually, you know, belong. I'm sorry? So like, you want to make sure my car is registered so that I can bring it to the dump? Well, that's part of it. We want to make sure that you're an actual Conway resident. We had actual, I mean, I, I saw proof of this. People from that were not Conway residents okay. that, were, that had managed to obtain stickers and were using our transfer station. Okay. So, how, um, how is that data being uh, protected? It's not, it, well, it's in a Google spreadsheet in our office that's not being shared. And when, we, when you show it to us, you get it right back. We do not hang on to any of your information. So it's just as protected as you just said it was in Google. It's in our it's in a shared Google Doc that's on a server that Well, I think the the Google Doc indicates that someone has confirmed that they've seen your registration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, we, don't make we don't save copies of yeah. your registration. Yeah. We don't keep any of that information. Okay, I got a question. What about mattresses? Jan? Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, so for folks who haven't been to the first two meetings, I'm Jan. I mean, I'm the executive director of the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District, which the town is a member of. big boss, I mean, you know. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, mattresses, the state banned mattresses from disposal. So the, we have regional disposal, uh, regional mattress containers, and the closest one is in Deerfield. Okay. So you don't need a permit to go in. You can just bring mattresses there. Every size mattress is $35. It's a lot of money, but that's what the cost is. What if you strip the mattress so it's just the metal frame? Can you still put it in the metal dumpster? Uh, the metal in the bowl. It can be yeah, metal dumpster. This, yeah, and bag the rest. Yeah, so the, rest. the state doesn't allow towns to, we call it filleting or, you know, <laughs> yeah. deconstructing. So the, t the town's not able to do that, but there's no, I don't think. Nobody's going to say anything if you want to do that. I'm just, um, I'm speaking for everybody in here. Yeah, it gets a little, a it gets a yeah, little. Everybody in the town of Conway. Right, right, right. So it gets a little tricky because technically there's also a ban on textiles. And so the state considers the mattress material, the covering, a textile. But, you know, shoving, stuffing that in the Salvation Army box is not really like, they don't really want the mattress co yeah. cover. So it's a little tricky. So we can't, I'm not telling you what to do, yeah. not on the roadside, but yeah. if you want to take the time to dismantle it, then yeah. I don't think anybody's going to yeah. say okay. anything. Lauren? Tires. When is done? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just the, the transfer station takes tires. Yeah. Uh, they said something about they're going to go up. And, uh, I don't know what, no, that, that has not been settled at all. The, and the only thing we're dealing with here, nothing, in other words, nothing else is changing okay. right now. The only thing that's changing is the way that the cost of your decal yeah. and the fact that we have to now put a sticker on every trash bag yeah. and that we cannot throw away loose trash anymore. That's another big one, um, that everything does have to be in a bag. Mm -hmm. Can I okay. ask a question going back to the registrations? Only because we have a large percentage of our residents are only part time, and their registrations aren't in Conway or even in the yeah, states. Okay. That's correct, but so. we can easily look them up and make sure that they are actually Conway residents. As long as they're paying tax in town, they're entitled. Well, I I, I knew that, but following so, up on you know. Right, but we have we've had we've had quite a few come in already that that's been the case. So you know we just have something that we verify that they actually own. Them. Hmm? My list? <laughs> right. mean like, a, like a post office box or something like that? Like a license. It, in all honesty, no, license license. Be yeah. a in all honesty I can check on the town I website. I recently moved to Conway, so right. my registration is not, but my right. license is. Right. So we'll, we'll be able to figure it out. We have, yeah. we have a lot of part timers here I'm, that yeah. their registration and yeah. license are in another state. And yeah. that's my question is. Yeah. We've, we've had that come up already and it's not an issue. We can verify that somebody's paying taxes in town and that's really what matters. Yeah. Okay, as long as we're on this, like, this form that I got about, you know, it's like, it has like a lot of personal information, which I don't really want. You don't have to fill it out unless you're mailing it in. Okay. And when they come in and they're filled out, we put them in our secure shredding when we're done. I have a question over here. Um, 
So I don't, um, I don't know how big a 35 gallon trash container, I don't know the dimensions of it. And so what I do is I have a, a container that's seven inches this way, 13 inches this way, 14 inches this way. I put in the big, the old big Y bags that I've been saving forever. I put it in there and it makes a, a thing about this big. Is that considered loose trash? No. That's that you would be able to throw away two of those with one sticker. And but there's see you, you tighten the back. Yeah, right? I tie yeah. yeah. So if I because usually what I do is I have a, a black plastic bag that's I don't even know how big it is. That's a and I that's a thirty five gallon trash bag. And I put in four or five of those things yeah. mm -hmm. and then I empty them into the you know bin and I take my black trash bag home so I don't add it to the waste. Right. Can I do that, put a sticker on one of the little ones and just Oh, well, the one big one is one sticker. Right, so if I put... But she wants to keep the bag. Oh, 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 yeah, oh I see what you're why saying. Why would I want to add well, that? Well, as long as it's not loose trash and it's just the little bags inside that, yeah. I don't see a problem with I, that. My only concern would be for the attendants trying to eyeball something like that. Right? I mean, if it's in the bag, though. Well, I'm yeah, it in the and bag. And it doesn't weigh above 35 pounds. And I put a sticker on one of the little bags, you know, that are like... So they're yeah, going to have to take out the you're little bags to find the sticker inside no, the bag. No, no, just she, as, as you're dumping them in, pull the one out that has the sticker on it yeah. to make sure the attendant sees okay. that you've got one, and then you could probably just empty the bag. Because yeah. I could put like five or six or, you know, because mm -hmm. I only go to the dump once a month. Anybody want to buy some stickers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, you that's can donate them. You can't that's donate them. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah I was just going to say, we haven't talked about, about that. that. What if you've got a great big bag and you only got it like a little more than half full, and the bag is only going to be like this big, you know, instead of the full size that it, that it is that when you buy it in the store. Like say you bought a 55 pound bag and you only filled it half full, because not very many people, there's just two of us in our family, yeah. Yeah. and you don't usually fill one of them bags full in one week. It usually takes two weeks to actually fill it full. And you don't want it in your house for two weeks. Right. Look what's going to happen, you know? Yeah. So I would bring them to the dump when they're only like half full. And these guys see me bring them to the dump. Sometimes they're, they're pretty full, and other times they're a little more than half full. How do they determine the, the weight of the. They're not going to weigh it, right? They don't look inside <laughs> it. They won't look inside it either. Um, um, and so. Yeah. So, I mean, so th th that type of thing is kind of difficult because. Yeah. Um, they, can't, they can't look inside, they're, you know, they're instructed not to look inside. You don't want them looking inside the people's trash. Um, and they don't want to look inside the people's trash. Um, and so, so it, it can't really be, oh, I, I, uh, uh, mine's only half full, so I should only have to give half yeah. the stick or whatever. Well, so what do you do with that case? Well, well it's put part of the sticker on it, and if they say put two on it? Well, it's kind of part of the reason why we offered as many stickers as we did, because I'm the same way. I probably, once a month, I'll bring a contractor yeah. bag yeah. that's maybe half full. Yeah, yeah. But so just put one sticker on it. And yeah, then say put it, two. On well, it. yeah. Well, I, no, I would, I'd still put two stickers on it because there's no way I'm going to be doing more than that, right? Yeah. And that's why we're offering all these stickers because there should be plenty oh, yeah. for for the average consumer to have with some left over towards the end of the year. Even when we have company, we can't fill right, right. one of them. Sometimes yeah, but can. Can. Right. <laughs> I know. I, or I, during I, Christmas, maybe. But, you know. I also just want to acknowledge this is like a big shift for our transfer station attendants, and I think that people need to trust and respect our transfer yeah. station attendants for trying to work through this yeah. at the same time. And, um, you know, I think it, it is going to be, it's, it's a transition. It's going to be a learning process. but. We really value and appreciate the people who manage our transfer station, yeah. and it's kind of a thankless job. I mean, I've I've, I've worked up at the transfer station, and I am all eternally thankful for the employees who work there. Um, so I think, you know, some of these questions we can't answer. Yeah. I think it's going to come down to you know like an individual you know determination. Like, okay, you know, toss that bag. You have one sticker, and you really should have two, but. Um, I just really think that um, 
we have to trust and appreciate our transportation attendants. I, I do think for the bag size, it should be based on the bag size, whether that bag is halfway full or full, and it shouldn't be up to the transfer station attendant to say, you know, one way or another to try to curry favor or whatever, you know? So, well, but ultimately it may be because it, people are gonna have an argument about if my yeah. bag is, you know, it's not full. <laughs> so I just, I just urge everyone to have patience and understand that the whole point of this is that we, recognized how much money this town is spending on solid waste disposal compared to all of the other towns in the area and so there's got to be something that's there's there's something there that that we need to address i know when i bring rubbish to the dump i used to bring whole articles like like a, a whole bureau to the dump well you used to be able to put them in that container where they go now you do that and they want it busted up in small pieces because most of the time when I go to the dump, that container is full, right to the top. You can't even hardly get anything else in there unless you cut it apart and it's small pieces. Sometimes they'll let you toss a few pieces up on top or something. So Do you know if, like he would know for me, Do you know if they charge for a whole bureau now? If you bought a great big no, no, we are not charging in, okay. on the bulky prices. That's that's a but, discussion but for want, another day. They, want, they basically <laughs> want to cut up into pieces, right? So uh, we demo, have not said that either as a policy. So the demo container is still there, like you. And does that cost money to use? Or? At the moment, yeah. no. Not yet. So what what, what? what what we feel, you know, we, we sort of alluded to, but the. The reasoning for all of this is because we're generating per person in this town like way more trash than our neighbors are. It's there's a lot of different reasons for that. One of which is that our sticker, the price to come to Conway or to be in Conway and take your trash there is so low that we are attracting trash from neighboring towns. Um, so so this 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 will put a stop to that, or at least we'll make it a lot harder to do that. Um, the the other thing is that. You know, we the the cost to the town has increased so much. I mean, I remember when the transfer station was like a twenty thousand dollar line item. Now it's like well over a hundred thousand dollar line item, and just you know, we we have to reduce the cost. It can't be this huge of a chunk of our town budget. And um, the way that you do that is reduce the amount of trash. And so when people have to focus just a little bit more on it, and put a sticker on it on on your bags. You're going to be. It's easier to recycle because the recycling is free. It, you know, all those times when you would just throw some, throw a can or a glass jar in your trash can because uh, you know who wants to take a whole separate. Well, you know, now you'll think twice about doing that. Yeah. That's the whole idea is just to encourage people to just change their behavior just a little bit in the kitchen, and you know, so that we generate less. And that um, you know, we're the 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 trash that we're it's. It's also, to, you know, what we do with our solid waste, people don't even realize there's no, you know, it, it gets trucked to Springfield. From Springfield, it gets put on rail cars down to South Carolina. And it just, the, it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And we're just trying to, you know, keep people's tax burdens low. And these are the ideas that we came up with. And we're, somebody have, might have better ideas or different ideas. But, I mean, the, 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 the hope is that this works. I mean, this this first year for sure is collection of data and experimenting and seeing if it works. If if it has the reverse effect, then we got to try something different. Oh, but when I, I lived in Vermont, had a uh, sorry. Actually, more of a comment, Jan. I don't know if you remember when we started recycling in Conway. It's over 20 years now, and for many years we were among the tops in the region for excellence in recycling and the amount that we recycled. And it certainly would be good to strive to go back to that. And also, there are big differences in that for many, many years, there was a market to sell our recyclables. There is no longer. We have to pay. Oh, oh we have to pay. Yeah, but yes, there's a market. But, but yeah. still, there is still a market. But, but uh, for the trash, you know, and all that, for many years, we were able to sell them what we had. And that made a huge difference. Some stuff was going to China, as I recall. And most, most of it. All this type of thing, and that market no longer exists. So the better care we can take of it, 
um, the better the town can do overall and perhaps try and moderate the expenses. But it, it was neat to be in, among the one or two it, right, at the yeah. very top of the list back then. Yeah, you're right. Conway, Conway always had a high recycling rate percentage and that's changed. And, and I think, and we've had this discussion at previous meetings, um, all of your, all of the surrounding towns have a sticker or bag program. So Conway's this outlier where your trash has been free. So even though in those years you, your recycling rate might, might have been, you know, 30%, you know, so 30% of the total trash was being recycled. Right. Your trash number has, has gone up significantly. So that number, that recycling numbers, percentage has gone down. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was Phil that asked at our last meeting um, what the metrics for success would be in this program. And I believe that there's two and they're correlated with each other. One is to promote recycling and have awareness to how much waste all of us are actually uh, consuming a year and obviously cost. And they are correlated. If there's less waste and we're dumping less, it's going to cost less. So. So I will um, just so folks know, it's it's all of the um, the tonnage. So the the solid waste district manages the contract for hauling. Uh, so waste management hauls all of the containers there, and I get my office gets a bill every month, and it has 16 town transfer stations on it. But I will start uh, beginning October, probably October 1st. But um, I will start comparing. October uh, 2022 to October 23 trash tonnage, and I'll do that for an entire year. So, and I'll you know I'll send this to the town so it can go in the in the town newsletter or folks can see. But um, when we did this in Conway, I mean in Irving, which was the last town to do this route, the the decrease was astounding. Um, I think they lost 40 percent of the trash. So, and just so folks know. The recycling may not increase. So let's say you let's say the trash goes down 30 percent. You're not going to have a 30 percent increase in recycling because a lot of I'm convinced that a lot of your trash tonnage is from surrounding communities, and so they're not bringing their recycling here. They're bringing their trash here. So sometimes recycling has a small bump, like in Irving, their recycling went up, but it didn't go up 40 percent. It might have gone up three percent. So just kind of a, a you know, preview that those numbers, when you see those numbers, there may not be this, uh, it's not a one for one in, in any of the communities I've worked with. It's never been a one for one, um, you know, saving 10 tons of trash and it goes 10 tons to recycling. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll monitor those numbers every month and send those to the, to the town. Burmeston does it a little bit different. They've been, they've been uh, saving out all the five cent returnables for the last 15 and 20 years now. And even not, before that, because not Burniston, Northfield. Yeah, Burniston, because uh, uh, my father used to work at the landfill in Burniston. I used to Who's run that? the machines that these guys run all the time. Yeah. They think I don't know nothing about them. I could run every single one of the machines at the dump, but no problem. Okay? Yeah. They know it's good. Burniston doesn't have a redeemables program well, anymore. They may have. Well, they did a long have. Time they ago. had Northfield somebody. Does. They had somebody sorting taking all the five cent returnables and turning them in and all that money went back into the you know into the dump basically right. into the whatever yeah. they needed to get. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a separate conversation. Yeah. 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 We're, what are, we didn't put on this um, handout what people do if they wanna, you know, let's say it's next May and they still have twenty five stickers, what do they do with those? We haven't. I mean, yeah, we they can, we haven't. Yeah. They, there's not a system for them to no, give them to town hall or to read. No, one okay. of, the only thing I've been saying so far, because a lot of people have been saying I'm never going to use all these, and I said, well, you're, you know, you can certainly give them away. Right. You know. How, um, how often do you get the stickers? It'll be with every every year. Every time you get um, your new vehicle decal, and I'd be interested to know what other towns use for figuring out who gets the donated stickers. That's the only sticking point that I had yeah. figured, you know, because. So, and I just realized, so so folks are getting 104 stickers in October. So yes. they're really getting, you're really getting. A lot more. Three yes. months yeah. free, July, August, September. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You're getting three months worth of stickers. Um, 
and you don't be, you know you won't need them. So no, they'll work for multiple years. <laughs> yeah, typically, I mean, you know, the, the town can decide, but typically they roll over, so they don't expire. Um, and then you get more, and then I think what happens is, you know, there's, there's, there's surplus, but there's also probably families in town with multiple children and diapers who may need more than two bags a week. So, But there's a fine line there, Duke, because one of the things that we do know is that, um, that a lot of our, a disproportionate share of our trash by weight is from a, a, a fairly small group of households. There are some, there, there are a fairly small group of households in town that generate a lot of trash. And, um, and businesses. And businesses. I want to talk about and, that. And, and so, 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 and so, so the same thing with businesses. We, you know, the couple of public horse stables generate a lot of the, the, the um, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the couple of the other businesses in town too that, um, Ha having to pay for a sticker is a good incentive for businesses, especially to instruct their employees to, you know, to keeping, you know, to, to, to use less, to, to throw away less, or um, get their own bin, or get their own bin, but or get their own dumpster. But um, and, and but if if it's really easy just to get free as many free additional stickers as you want, then that incentive to use less for those groups of people won't be there. So I I mean, I'm, I I'm okay if people don't give their excess stickers away. I yeah, think. Right. I, I, mean, I would still argue that a dollar per sticker is not what a business should be paying for trash. Like, they should be paying way more. I think we had to, sorry. Just, no, wait, I, no, I want that address. Oh, I'm so right. sorry. Okay, so, so we'll, we'll address, so <laughs> we actually figured out what the cost is to the town for a bag and that, that's what these sticker prices are, are, are based on. So the, the sticker prices are based on what we calculate um, as more or less the cost to the town. For, so, so the dollar per bag is the small bag, whatever, the, the going up in weight and size, et cetera, et cetera. That's the cost to the town. Okay. So um, we're not we're not profiting. We're, we're not trying to earn a profit. We're just trying to cost the taxpayers less. Um, and businesses pay taxes too, um, so like you know they get. We're not charging them more. We're not charging them less. It's just okay. so, but we 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 we're, we're trying to be on top of that. It's it's fair for businesses that generate a lot of trash to pay more by virtue of paying for more stickers. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. So I, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to cut you off, but some people raise their hands and some people just call out. So I was just trying to acknowledge that somebody had had their hand up for a while. That's all. So did you guys, con I wasn't here for the first two meetings, my apologies. No <laughs> did you consider a, a tiered um, a system so somebody would get 52 stickers a year for 10 bucks and if they needed more, they get a you know, $20 you know, decal and then they get how many you give them? 104 stickers. We, so we did not, we didn't want to make this more complicated uh -huh. since it's a new system. Plus, we're still very, sorry, we are still well below the price of any surrounding town. Right. So, I was just thinking about, you know, if, if somebody, I will never make that much trash. A lot of us won't. And, and, um, and then a, a business, I don't know what businesses throw away, but um, maybe they make more, so they what, they just buy more stickers yes. from you guys? Yes, if they need to, yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind paying $20. I was just thinking about if there are families in town who are in some need, you know, and they're not making much trash. Yeah, we thought of a tiered approach, but it's not too the level of how we hand out stickers. Right. It's more of, let's start with this. Yeah. We'll look at bulky ways next year. Okay, I just was curious. Yeah. Thank you. Before, before I forget, I'm sorry, I brought some uh, recycling. There's a handful of magnets um, on that table there. And uh, it's, you know, graphics. There's also some like postcards that are that size, but they're not magnetic. Uh, and then some, some brochures that fold out so if folks want to 
grab that on their way out or pass them around. Okay. Um, there's, this is the, the brochures. So it so it says has the yes and the no kind of the, the things that we want in the recycling and the items that uh, end up should should not go in your recycling. Okay, you don't get your new stickers until you pay for your decal that goes on your vehicle, right? Right. And they they automatically give you your new stickers. Or you got to pay for them. No, it's nope. they're free. So the when you come in, thing. okay, and and get yeah. And you don't get a second 104 set for a oh, second car. Yeah. That's just whatever else. <laughs> you get what you need. Right? Yeah. The stickers yeah. are free for the low cost of $20. Okay. Yeah. So we had some folks up here who had questions? Did you? No? OK, I thought I saw your hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to know um, textiles. Um, I know that if you are trying to get rid of them, they should go to the um, like Salvation Army bin or something like that. And <clears throat> what if you have textiles, say a rag that is not basically has like heavy duty rust and oil or something. What do you do with that? <laughs> yeah, that would be trash. So so that would be trash. The okay. Salvation Army can take clean rags or know. you know, like your clothes don't have to have all the buttons. They they can they can right. be slightly stained. Because what they do is they sort those out and put and they sell them for rags. But if it has um, mold or mildew or chemicals on it, like oil, then mm -hmm. it has to go in trash. So it can go in trash. Okay. Right. So so with the what can go in the recycling, um, I saw something happen at the dump the other week where there was a package that had integrated uh, padding in it, and it very clearly said on the package, recycle this padding with this package, and they were not allowed to do that. Yeah, well, so that's a really good point. Just because a product says recycle this or this is recyclable doesn't mean that it's recyclable here in Western Mass. Um, and companies want to make themselves look like they care about the environment, and some of them do. And so they'll put that, this is recyclable, or um, plastic, you know, a lot of plastic that we can't recycle will say recyclable. Um, yes. So it really is what the, and, and I think I know what, you, what you're talking about, and we actually have I've been I've been asking waste management that because their their um, like envelope is was it like a it's a box with like like almost like foam. I for a minute I thought it was like the mushrooms that they're using now, but then it was something slightly different. Yeah. Like maybe cellulose. Like is it the boxes oh, yeah. the meal kits come in? I don't know. Yeah. So so anyways, I mean, like I said, just because it says in the box this is recyclable does not mean it is, or on the packaging, or on the the. Um, you know the uh, whatever. I can't think of a product right now, but but it really is the list. And I think and if you have a question, um, we don't we have my phone number. Our phone number is on here, but you can also go onto our website and look. We have a what do I do with, and we have more. There's just more graphics about a yes and no. So an example would be those black, like mushrooms come in a black plastic that has the little triangle that right. says it's recyclable and it's not. Right. That's not. That triangle was created by corporations like yeah. Pepsi totally and Coke. That, yeah. that doesn't actually mean recycling. And when you see that, typically there's a number on there from one to five. Yeah. In most cases, one and two, you can recycle everything above that you cannot. Well, that's right. That's not com completely accurate. In, in some cases. But you were yeah. looking <laughs> we, for an example. Yes, so that's, that's, that's an example. We can't recycle black plastic. Um, we can, we, uh, you can put number one through sevens yeah. of food and beverage containers, most food and beverage plastic containers can go in, and most of that plastic is recycled. One, twos, and fives are definitely recycled. Three, fours, and sixes, and sevens are partially recycled, depending on what they are. So um, that, so part's not, that part's not so great, but... Um, How clean do they have to be? Can you put like a... Can you just <laughs> empty a peanut butter jar and... No, 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 no. Peanut yeah. butter jars are the hardest. We prefer that you put if you put hot, really hot water in there and kind of shake it up. A lot of that will come off. So you don't have to like scrape out your jars or okay. you know put them. Through, you have to put them through the washing the I dishwasher. Just one list. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, but you know that that material. So the plastic once it gets separated is going to get shredded to make new plastic. So if it has peanut butter in it. Yeah. yeah, it's not so easy to. But these are tough things because our septics don't like food waste. Yeah, 
and a lot of people are reluctant to do to, to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, to, uh, to, 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 to rinse it out, out. But you know, what, then, then what? You know, then, um, mm -hmm. then, then if you throw it in the trash, then you're carrying a drippy, gloopy trash bag. Yeah. If you throw it down the sink, you're hastening your, the demise or the near the need to clean your septic. Um, so there's just all these. Yeah. But you can also compost if it comes way down. So you can scoop up the peanut butter, put it in. Yeah. Have you seen the the peanut butter? Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly I would right. highly recommend compost not only yeah. to lessen your waste, but to make sure it doesn't stink. Yeah. So. Or give the, give the last little bit of peanut butter Most to of the dog near you. Trash yeah. You get to watch them compost. Yeah. 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 Wrestle with that. And it's great. So if you wiped out your peanut butter jar, as an example, with a uh, paper towel, which I hardly use any of, but sometimes they come out. You can compost your paper towels. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. That's what yeah, I there's, there should, I don't know if there are flyers, composting flyers still up at the transfer station. There, there was a sign up there. I haven't been up, I haven't been to the transfer station for a little while to look at the compost, but if you have any questions, you can ask or you can call our office. Um, but paper products like paper towels, um, uh, waxed cardboards, um, uh, you know, so if you happen to have wa waxed, not freezer boxes, but like I think of banana boxes as kind of waxed cardboard. Um, but some paper products as well as food waste can go in the company. Pizza boxes, right? Pizza boxes can be recycled now, and they have been for a couple of years. We prefer you take the pizza out. So even if it's greasy <laughs> in the bottom, the rest they, they now say they can they can recycle pizza boxes oh. with grease in them, but they don't want the pizza. But the boxes that can the, the, the boxes that can that have frozen food that you microwave. Right, those are trash. Because there's a line, a plastic liner in those, and people don't realize that. That's one of them. So Jan, are, are they still saying that you take the pizza box, flip it inside out, whatever falls out is trash, and the <laughs> no, rest well, is no? I get, yeah, I mean. But you can also sure, compost so. pizza boxes. I compost pizza boxes. Yes, we can compost. Right, but we, yeah, but it's better. Isn't it better for us to? Probably better. Are you, yeah. you guys, like, this is it, basically, uh, you, you got to talk about hazardous waste. Not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> well, except that we have a hazardous waste day, November twenty third, yeah. not September twenty third, and tomorrow is the deadline to register. So go to our website soon if you want to get rid of your hazardous waste. Uh, can I ask about plastic bags? I know that sure. um, that it says take them to the uh, grocery yeah. store. Do you know? Will they take plastic bags like LL Bean plastic bags or? Plastic, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, kind of stiff, crinkly. That grapes come in, or maybe not the grapes, but um, any kind of uh, kind of more smooth film plastic, like um, the wrappers on paper towels or toilet paper. Yeah, um, those are okay. Or uh, grocery bag, store bags, or oh, produce yeah. produce bags, um, dry cleaning bags. So, is, is so there's a, a place on the website. There, there's a link on our website. If you go to, I think resources maybe. Um, we have it on the Conway website. Do you have, yeah, Conway yeah. website. Okay, yeah. so on the Conway website, there's a link. There's information about the plastic bag recycling. Okay. If you go on the Conway transfer station page, it'll have a, a, just a picture of all these different items, and you click on it, and it'll tell you what to do. Oh. At the very bottom, it has what do I do with which is the publication that is in very in-depth that tells you all kinds of weird miscellaneous things you wouldn't think of. Um, yeah. And then, of course, the, the end-all, be-all website is the Franklin County Solid Waste right. District, that, you know, but, yeah. and, and the MRF. Can you still get rid of your oil if you don't care about this? Like, this is the first I've heard about this. Get rid of your oil? Yeah, you know, your, your Yeah, nothing oil. else has changed at the transfer station. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And we do take cooking oil up there, just but so people are aware. What, what day are you supposed to bring your oil up to the dump? First Saturday. First Saturday of the month from noon to noon. Yeah. <coughs> but it's just, just, just the sampling of questions that you that we have here, you get, you get a, a taste of how difficult it is to be a transfer station attendant, yeah. and the amount of 
<laughs> the amount of knowledge of you know what, uh, all these questions that have answers. So, um, and and that's and we've only touched upon a small portion yeah. of what they deal yeah. with. Well, now and, is now, and, but forty years ago was a lot different. So, <laughs> so I mean, so you know, you that's what I was talking about. I used to work at the one in Burnson forty years ago. Oh, well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> But they accepted a lot back then. But you, you know, the, you, you might, yeah, the, and, and and they're also just trying to move people in and out. A lot of times, when when we yeah. go, there's five, five, six more cars lined up, yeah. and the you can feel people's, uh, you know, wanting to get yeah. the cars ahead of them out of there, and oh, yeah. and and you know, the, the, the there's not as much time to be as sociable as you some as everybody would sometimes oh, like. Sometimes and, if I'm in a hurry. I'll grab my bag, walk past four or five vehicles. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, so I mean, some sometimes you get you, you're going to be asking a question that they haven't received that question in a while. You might get an answer one week, and then a month later you go back ask the same question. You might get a different answer because well, everybody's sort of new and just trying this stuff out. So, just try to be patient. And, um, yeah. Everybody's everybody's doing their best, more or less. So we've got two things up that I'd like to address. Um, first is uh, one lane versus two lanes. There's been like cones up, and for like folks that just want to come in and recycle, it means they're sitting in line. Um, yeah. And the line, I have a photograph of literally six cars sitting in line waiting because the car at the front like had a bunch of stuff. Um, can we not have that second lane blocked off? So the the one day, the the one day that I was a substitute transfer station attendant. I almost got run over twice yeah. by people by people that were just there for recycling. Yeah. And it is it is an actual it is an actual real like attendant safety thing. Um, because there's a line of cars, they can't see the people coming in and out of cars and people just go too fast. Mm -hmm. They just do. Mm -hmm. And you can say we had s s slow, slow, slow signs up, people just go. And um, the like, um, it, it it is annoying to sit there when you don't when you when you feel like you shouldn't be sitting there. I agree with that, but it's like way more annoying to get hit by a car. Yeah, um, yeah. There's not a lot of space up there, and there's unfortunately not a lot of great drivers out there either. So the second thing I'd like to bring up, which you also mentioned, is like the attendance and how hard their job is. I, it's come to my attention that some of them do not make minimum wage. Is this true? So, two and, things. And For, I understand that municipalities do not have to. Right. That's bullshit. I didn't. Um, so, I didn't, I uh, as, as, as of this wage. year, I believe all of them are making at least minimum wage, but okay. not by a whole lot. Okay. Um, and um, like actual state actual the actual state the, fifteen dollars an okay. hour thing okay. yeah um, and it's you know that there still are employees um, I believe there are still several school employees that do not even make minimum wage. Well, I'm um, asking you. I'm asking the board. Can we make a bylaw that says? that we ignore, because I've seen the law, there's like a letter that's written suggesting that municipal employees are not subject to minimum wage. Correct. I would like our bylaws to say, we disagree with that, and we're always going to pay a minimum wage or higher to any employee that works for our town. Um, that would probably be a discussion for another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, I understand that's not this meeting, but yeah, I just want to put that in your wheelhouse. Yeah. yeah. Citizens petition to get it on the article. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, the yeah. best way. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the best way. That way it'll go to town vote. Okay. Yep. So, but I would, I would want like a carve out for those salaries that are less than minimum wage, by virtue of the choice of the union that represents them to the the pool of money that is available for that. To, to, we'll, we'll have to talk. Yeah. 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 But like, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, like, know, like, 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 but, but. Yeah. All right, we'll talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But concerning this subject, yeah, yeah. is there are, that is a great point. But concerning this subject, are there any other questions, concerns? Yes. All right. Well, those guys, um, 
uh, honor a tip jar so we could do <laughs> this thing to leave. And, and the conditions of that hut, and it's like sometimes I feel like bringing them uh, donuts or something. We brought them a cake. Oh, well, <laughs> cake. Oh, well, <laughs> that yeah. happens all the time, but no money. No money. <laughs> Legally, but, no, we can't. Okay, well, yes, I, we just, I have to say, I'm really glad you guys are addressing this. I really appreciate the transfer station folks. And so thank you and thank them and thank you, solid waste person. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. yes. Yeah. So and just uh, you know, pass the word because it, it, it the one thing that helps is if people get their decals and their stickers before October seventh. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. if yeah, that, that that's what we're that the the one thing about this is if everybody goes to the transfer station and and then acts surprised or whatever and they don't know, yes, imagine um, that line. Yeah, that's from six cars. Chaos. Chaos. Yeah. chaos. We don't want chaos. And just so you're aware, they are being sold at the town office on Saturdays for the next probably four Saturdays from nine to noon. <sighs> that's what I was going to ask about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so right now the hours you can get them in person. Our Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5, Friday, 8 to noon, and Saturday, 9 to noon. And is there a sign up at the transfer station telling people that? Not necessarily the hours, but they are on the front door of, and they were, I think I put them on the back of the handout, right? Yeah, I put them on the back of the handout that you get, to, not this one, but to fill out your or the transfer station sticker and the attendance right, I was just thinking about some yeah. people who don't read the vendor uh, Conway Currents and only go to the transfer station once a month and might have absolutely no idea yeah, and yeah. they show up after. There have been, well, there's, there's been a sign in front of the town office and for the months months. and at the transfer and, station. Yeah, and the bank. Yeah. It's the transfer station yeah. that yeah. needs to have the sign. No, okay. never go to the bank. Yeah. Well, there has been a sign. There has been a sign. Oh, okay. I don't call it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. But I mean, the whole idea is to avoid the thing where right. it's mid-October and people right. are going right. in there and they're told they can't yeah. dispose of their waste. Mm -hmm. And nobody likes to go home with the, 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 your, yeah. your trash that you wanted to get rid of. Nobody's happy doing that. So we'd like to avoid that to the extent we can. All right. Well, thank you everybody for coming. Thank you for the questions and comments. And if other questions Appreciate pop you, uh, up, yeah, spread the word, please. Sorry, if if other questions pop up later that you didn't ask, just please email me or call me, and if I can't answer it, jam will answer. Call our eight of Conway. Yeah, yeah, you're looking at like one, two, three, I don't know.